Hey guys, Kira here. Welcome back to 50 Shades of Mom. I know that on Tuesday, if you happen to catch and watch my video, I mentioned that Daryl and I had a change of plans and we were going out to dinner and a night out to do some shopping that we need to do for the house. Um, so today's video is where we went and what we got at the store. Um, if you didn't get a chance to see this video, I will attach the link in the Dropbox below. And speaking of the Dropbox below, it's something I wanted to touch on. A few people have mentioned to me like, hey, you always mention you're going to put something in the Dropbox below. What exactly is that? So I realize that not everybody watches YouTube videos all the time and exactly know what that means. So underneath any YouTube videos, not just my own, any videos that you watch, underneath the actual video is a description box where anybody can write a brief description either about themselves, the video. Um, so like here is mine. It tells you what date it was published on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Click below for more information and then it'll you know, be a, an arrow where it'll drop down a box. And inside is my brief description about myself, my promo code for Pearls by Laurel if you shop there, my, um, my referral codes for any of my grocery store apps. I'll attach recommended videos down below and links to my other uh, YouTube videos if it's something that I'm suggesting. So just in case you ever hear me say that and you're unaware, this is the Dropbox below and I always put something in there. And if it's something, again, you didn't know about, check other people that you may watch because a lot of people post useful information underneath their video. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, Jake this morning said to me, Mom, you know, I watch YouTube videos and I notice that you don't say what a lot of other people say and you don't ever mention about the bell. Um, so if you don't know what the bell is, the bell here on my laptop is up in the corner, but on a mobile device, it'll be underneath the video right next to where it says subscribe. The bell will be there and the bell will have little lines next to it if you click on it and that means means you've activated the notifier. So anytime I upload a new video, it will notify you and you can be the first ones to watch what I've put up. So if that's something you didn't know for myself or again for anybody else that you may watch, click that bell and you will be notified. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for what Daryl and I got out on our night on the town. Okay guys, so this was the first stop on our journey excursion out together and that was to the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. Um, I haven't been to one in a couple of years off having kids and stuff so it was kind of cool to go in there and go rampant and kind of spend and get good deals. Um, I separated the stuff into the percents off that they were on the table so the stuff over here was 75% off. Um, all these bulbs were 75% off, so they ended up coming to $1.13, which is insane for these because they're generally $6.50. Um, but they had like a lot of them that didn't have tags on them, so all ones that didn't have tags were just thrown into this bin. And the one that did have tags left were black teak wood and bergamot waters and this um, winter rose, just not my favorite scent. So I kind of giggled out loud and said, oh, no wonder why there's all these left. They're gross. So the girl behind the, you know, by the counter giggles and she says, well, you know you can return them, right? And I said, well, I know that I can return the wallflower plug-in part if it doesn't work, but the bulbs too? And she said, oh yeah, we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So even if you open it and you smell it and you put it in, you don't like it, you can return it. So now this weekend, I'm going to go back out and clean them out because... I will just bring them back throughout the year and return them for the cents I want if they have a guarantee, but then why not buy them when they're $1.13 as opposed to $6.50 or when they're on sale, you can get them six for 24, but you're still not paying a dollar. So I am gonna go back and clean them out. My suggestion to you to check yours if you have any. Um, I got this Sweet Magnolia and Clementine Spray. All of these um, things back here were three bucks. Um, so I got the, this spray, which smells really good. They don't have the, um, 
the hints on the sprays. So I can't really read you the notes for that, but that one smells really good. Um, and then this one I saw and I was like, it's going to be gross. And it was amazing. It's the lemon pomegranate cream. This one was so good that I found the hand soap so that I can give this away as a gift um, like that. And then this one I saved um, for me. Um, and then this is the Sweet Cranberry Rose. This does have hints on the back. This says fresh cranberry, rose petals, sugar plum, pear blossom, and soft autumn musk. So um, I think I'm going to use that for my giveaway. I'm about to do a 100 subscriber giveaway, so I think I'm going to use some of this stuff for that too. Um, this one smells really good too. I love anything apple blossom. And this was apple blossom and lavender so I got the matching hand soap for that and again all that stuff was three dollars and then this candle was also um, on the 75% off table so it ended up coming to six bucks which is even cheaper than what they are when they do the eight dollar sale which is pretty much the cheapest they do it all year round except when you catch deals like this this was the only flavor that they had this is the hot cocoa and cream and the notes on this are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. It really does smell amazing, like so amazing that when I went to the sale, I got one for myself. But I didn't want a whole bunch of these, so I did only get one. If they had more scents, I would have picked up more, but I did only get that one. Um, so that was it for the 75% off side. And then this was 50% off. I'm a sucker for coconut, so this was all me. Um, I got the coconut blossom, the shea butter lotion, and the warm coconut blossom mist. Uh, Missed yet? Yeah. And let me see. The notes on this say island orchid, coconut water, beach blossom, white peach, and sandalwood musk. I don't know. It sounds summery, but this did not smell summery to me. It just smelled amazing. So I got all three of these for myself, and then these only rang up six bucks. And so I got these for my mom. They're the vanilla snowflake. It's the only two pack that they had, but I grabbed these for her for her birthday. Um, along with these, these are the ones that are either four for 20 or the six for 24 um so i got her the, the these four because i'm going to give her all those other ones so um this one was the cinnamon spiced vanilla um watermelon lemonade which happens to be one of my favorites um this midnight blue citrus which i have um the candle burning of that right now i think and it's really really good um, and then the Thousand Wishes, which is my all-time favorite smell. Um, and then this is the only thing I paid like full price for, um, but it only rang up $10. And I love all these pedestals and I don't own one. I love the hearts because I thought it was cute for Valentine's Day. I'm trying to pick up Valentine's Day decor stuff right now. They had another one that was gorgeous with all sorts of crazy bling, but it was $22.50. And I was not spending that. And because it's a semi-annual sale, the only coupons they had was 10 off of 40 So. Um, I wasn't going to use that, but I did pick up this gold pedestal. Um, like I said, I've never gotten one before, and you just slide the candle in like that and burn it. So I thought that was really cute, and I got that for myself. Um, and that was it for the semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works. Okay, so our next stop was to Home Depot. We just had to get a couple of like household items. Um, I have a bunch of flags from Thomas Kincaid that I hang outside of my house and Daryl had like a makeshift thing outside because our old flagpole broke. So he made me pick up a new one. So I just got a plain um, wood um, flagpole with like a little bolus round circle um, up top for my flags. Um, we got a dust and pollen filter for our air conditioning system. They tell you you should change them once a month. These things say 90 days on them, but we usually do it then every other month, kind of 
meet them halfway in between, I guess. Um, got a new dustpan. Mason cracked the old one right over Jacob's head, so um, that one splintered, and I got this one, and this one looks pretty durable, so good luck trying to break that one, but then again, leaving to Mason, I won't be surprised. Um, okay, so this I got because I have a pantry closet, and it has no lighting in it. It actually wasn't meant to be a pantry closet. It was meant to be a coat closet, um, but it's in my kitchen, so I made it into a pantry, and I've always been looking for something, and those tap lights just don't work. So this says that it's an ultra bright, bright ceiling light, and that it's motion censored and waterproof, which doesn't really matter for in the pantry closet, but I'm actually hoping this is going to work. It was 30 bucks, so if it doesn't solve the problem, I'm definitely going to take it back, but I'm hoping that that will add some light to that pantry because it's forever dark in there. They had all their method stuff like marked down, so I just got a method all-purpose cleaner. Uh, I believe this is the pink, yeah, it's the pink grapefruit kind, so I got that. Um, a thing of Resolve carpet cleaner for my stains that my pups leave everywhere. Uh, $25 gas gift card. I just picked this up while I was there, so I didn't have to go to Bilo, but um, I needed this for a gift. Um, and then these are their new Eco Smart light bulbs. We're out of light bulbs, and I haven't bought light bulbs in forever because our local energy company constantly sent them to us every year and light bulbs last a while now so we had them for a really long time but now we're like completely out so but these were super expensive and like I said it's been so long since I bought bulbs I was really surprised but this four pack of bulbs um, I mean it says like it saves money and all of that but these new eco smart bulbs these were $19.97 a piece and I got two packs of them so it was 40 bucks just in bulbs kind of crazy but um Mason had one of these in his room, but now that um, Maya is moved into that, Mason took his, so now he needs one. It's like a projectable light. You plug it in, and it puts that princess scene on the ceiling, so I thought she would like that. So she now has a nightlight for her room. And then I just grabbed five little house plants because it's the beginning of the year, and all of my plants that didn't do well throughout the year, I'm just kind of re-freshening um, the house up a little bit, so I got one of these little guys. They were all three bucks. Um, so I got this, and this one, I love that one, and just a plain green with the white leaf, and then two, um, kind of spider plants. These usually do really well in my big window in the kitchen and in the bathroom, so I got two like these. So, um, okay, that is it for Home Depot. Okay, I am back in my bedroom now with our third and final stop on our journey. We had to go to Kohl's. I needed a few gifts and I bought Daryl a leather jacket for Christmas. Just didn't fit him right. So we needed to return that. And my mom got some undergarments that just did not fit right either. So we had to go back and return those things. So this is what we ended up getting at Kohl's. For all of you ladies out there, if you need any kind of minimizer bra or anything, I find that I really love the Bali brand. Um, this is one that they have at Kohl's, and um, I find that the material is really good and they last a long time. They have a lot of variety. They hold up in the wash. I usually can get once, you know, a full year out of them. And as big chested as I am, I really go through them a lot. So if you um, are out there looking for a good, you know, bra brand, I really like Bali. I got a black one with like this just nude kind of design peeking through and then just a regular white one. Um, and then I also got new undies, four pairs. They had buy one, get one. Um, this is like the boy cut short um, cheeky kind of ones and they all are really nice with just lace on the side and this is Maiden Form brand which has to be the best underwear I've ever owned and I used to use Victoria's Secrets and stuff and I really found that Maiden Form has the best um, underwear and um, Amazon has them but I always get you know those ones from Kohl so that was that um, I needed a I said I needed a gift so I got this Disney Prince 
princess um, storybook collection book. I love all of these. Mason has a bunch of Christmas ones, um, but the colors are great on here. The stories are great. So I got that as a gift, and then I got these couple of shirts. Um, I don't know what you call them. Some say Zoom Zooms. I say Sum Sum. I'm not really sure, but it's those little like round Disney heads, and it has a mini and a Buzz Lightyear and a chip and an Olaf and a Goofy and a Tigger with some hearts. I thought this was kind of, um, you know, a cute shirt. And then um, I also got this PJ Masks shirt, which I absolutely love because we're big on the PJ Masks and I know that she is too. So that is for Karina when we see her on Friday. Um, I mentioned in that video for what um, the little ones got for Christmas that Mason got a board book like this that I really loved and I didn't know who got it. Once I saw these and I realized that it's the Melissa and Doug brand, which I've just started hearing about and I'm really kind of interested um, in looking into them because I like their stuff, but that means my mom got that puzzle because she's pretty much the one who shops at Kohl's forever. So she probably is the one who got that one and it's the same kind as these. And these were buy one, get one. Plus I had 20% off and they were um, 10 bucks to start. And this is the farm animals one. And um, I didn't let Mason open this one yet, but he already opened this one. And this one was the pets, house pets um, one. So he already opened that. And then the other one he has is all the vehicles. So we played with the vehicle one and this one all day yesterday. So I really like those Melissa and Doug's. I want to look into more of them. Um, they just had all their Valentine's Day stuff 50% off, which I thought was kind of bizarre because I thought that would be you know, more after, but, um, plus my 20% off, these came out really cheap. I think they were only four bucks. It's like a plaid quilted one that says happy Valentine's day on this side. And then this one's just white hearts, but I didn't have any, um, Valentine's day towels. And then this is the jacket I got Daryl. So the one I got him for Christmas was a totally different style and it just didn't fit him. Like I said, right in the biceps and stuff. So I brought it back, but because of my Kohl's cash and everything, I ended up getting almost nothing back for, cause I already spent that Kohl's cash. I got that jacket black Friday. So, um, it was really sad to see like me be able to return it for minimal. So I really wanted to leave there with a good deal and and feel like I it wasn't a wasted trip since I didn't get to return it um, for so uh, as much as I thought I was going to. So this one is um, a Mark Anthony, which his other one wasn't. And this is very much more Daryl style. He's a motorcycle dude, and this is more that style jacket. Um, you could tell by the collar. This is more like meant for a helmet as opposed to the big puffy collar that his other leather jacket had. So he tried it on and I kind of fell in love with it and him all over again. It was a really nice fit. So I think he really likes this and I think that we ended up with a a better deal than what we had before. So everything happens for a reason. Um, okay guys, that is it. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. Please comment down below and let me know what you thought of all of my scores. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button. I do post three and four times a week. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.